going to talk today about energy efficiency. Man, Scott, it's hot out there. It's so hot, I got up off the roof and my shoes are up there because it's stuck to the asphalt shingles. <laughs> you know, Scott, one of the one of the things, the most important things that protects us in Florida, in our house, to keep it cool, is our roof. That's true. Man, if you didn't have a roof on your house, you'd be kind of hot. Ooh, <laughs> you wouldn't be inside if you had a roof on if you didn't have a roof on your house. <laughs> So let's talk about this. So the one thing that keeps us cool in our homes in Florida is the AC. And one of the biggest enemies to AC, especially running efficiently, is attic temperature. Attic temperature, that's 100% right. So let's talk about this. I know on our website, we have this cool diagram. We'll put it on the screen. You know, on a 90 degree day, a typical asphalt shingle attic temperature can reach temperatures of over 140 degrees. 140 degrees, that's hot. So that, that's hot. So how do we combat that 140 plus degree temperature? There's a couple key components that come into play with keeping that attic temperature lower than that 140 degrees, okay? Uh, that's solar reflectance and emissivity. Solar reflectance and emissivity, man, what in the world is that? I mean, right? You're going to have to talk to me like I'm stupid. <laughs> those are big words, Brian. That's like me saying, oh, that's not germane to this subject. Right? Nobody doesn't even understand what I'm saying. So <laughs> what? What? Ema, what? Emissivity? What? Right. What are you talking so, about? So solar reflectance is your roofing material's ability to reflect off the UV rays that are coming down from the sun and beating on your roof. You, you didn't make that word up, right? I did not make Solar that Solar reflectance? Up. I didn't make that it's up. It's like flux capacitor is a real thing? Right. Okay. Now, even more strange than solar reflectance is the word emissivity. emissivity. In the world is that. It sounds like a curse word if I were French or something. Right. <laughs> emissivity is your roofing material's ability to cool down once the sun has gone down or is gone behind a cloud. If I had a metal roof with a cool metal roof color, my attic temperature would be less. Right. And therefore my AC doesn't work as hard. That's correct. So, so think about this for a second. On a 90 degree day, your shingle roof has an average attic temperature of 140 degrees. We've already, we've already placed that baseline, okay? Mm -hmm. Now, when, what, what ties that into that? Your, your average shingle roof has an emissivity and a solar reflectance rating of four to eight percent. Okay, four to eight percent. That sounds great, right? What we're, what you don't understand is that four to eight percent of reflectivity and emissivity means that ninety-two to ninety-six percent of the UV rays that are coming down on your shingle roof are being absorbed into your roof. It absorbs into the shingle, it absorbs into your underlayment, it absorbs into the decking of the house, and ultimately finds its way into the attic. Whoa. <laughs> now, how do we battle that is what we're here to talk about today. A cool painted metal roof is the defense that you need against those harmful UV rays. So, so it's almost like your roof is sunburning your attic. Like all of that heat from the sun is going pouring directly into your attic. So right. it's so it's like your your cool metal roofing is like a sunblock for your on your hot sunny day. Right. Your your cool metal roof is the defense that you need against those UV rays. Your your cool painted metal roof is going to range from 27 to 83 in your SR value and emissivity values. That's like that's like 10 times or more. Right, so now you ask, why the range? Why the range so big, where shingles are four to 8%, metal roofing is anywhere from 27 to 83, why the range? Obviously, that means it's based on color choice. So you do have many different colors that you can get in your painted metal roof. Now hold the phone. What if I'm a guy that I like the black color I'm, on my roof? I'm with you. A black metal roof is my favorite roof as well. 27 solar reflectance and emissivity. Now think about that number. That's still five times more efficient than your shingle roof that you have on your house right now. If you went with a white painted roof, a cool white painted roof, that's gonna get your highest ratings there. And you can take that attic temperature on an average 90 degree day in Florida 
a white painted metal roof will bring that attic temperature down to a 105 degrees. So let's just say I'm one of them engineering types. Yep. And you know who you are. Now, if I'm one of them engineering types, how am I gonna discover the specifics on emissivity and solar reflectance with regard to our documentation? Is it, is it clear for all to see what those ratings are? It is, right on our color charts on our website. There's numbers right beneath each color that you choose. And it'll show you the solar reflectance, which is SR. And then the E number is your emissivity rating. That'll work. Solar reflectance, emissivity, no, not made up words. <laughs> They're actually legit. <laughs> the ratings on our color charts. Energy savings backed by science. That's what we're talking about. All right, I'm Scott, this is Brian. You've been watching Growing Your Business with Metal. Again, thank you for your time.